Maybe your doctor prescribed you with his best intentions antibiotics or you're on antihistamines or taking probiotics just like you would eat food. Well, the problem is there are no real solution. Three things you must know about irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. To make sure you're not wasting your time, here is who this video is for. If you're dealing with irritable bowel syndrome symptoms like feeling worse after you've gone to the bathroom or you're dealing with cramping, abdominal pain, bloating, anxiety even, diarrhea, constipation, diarrhea, constipation or you got recently diagnosed with IBS and you're not sure if the antibiotics, the antihistamines, the low food map diet is really the real solution for nausea, loss of appetite and weight loss even that you're experiencing. Then this video is for you. Now make sure you stick with me until the end because in the end I'm going to give you my three best hacks that I've tried with hundreds of clients who are dealing with irritable bowel syndrome to not only get relief from your IBS symptoms but also heal the underlying causes which is so important for IBS so you're not going to be dependent on antihistamines and all those probiotics and over-the-counter medication forever. Number three, what you eat matters a lot. Now if you're dealing with IBS symptoms or irritable bowel syndrome it's key that you eat a diet that doesn't aggravate your gut and your microbiome more. Therefore it's important to eat a light diet so the food in your gut doesn't start to putrefy, create ammonia gas, create more inflammation and you get more symptoms. So it's really important to eat low fat, low protein for a while. Also the low food map diet is not something I recommend or support at all. I've got a new other video about that that I'm linking somewhere up here if you want to follow up on that. There are a few foods that you need to avoid and drinks in order for you to get a head start on your IBS, on your irritable bowel syndrome symptoms. Number one is coffee, very irritating for your gut lining, very acidic. And then there come the free trigger foods, the most common trigger foods that feed pathogens in your body because your body hasn't gone crazy. There are some real underlying issues, it's not autoimmune. And to tackle those issues, it's important to leave out these three foods groups, dairy products, even the Greek yogurt for your probiotics, eggs in any form and gluten, grains that contain gluten in general. Again, I've got more follow-up videos. I want to make this really, really nice and concise so you get some head start. If you want to follow up, there's more in this video over here and also all the videos are down in the description linked. We've got some nice thunderstorm coming up so I'm probably going to go inside the house anytime soon. I want to know from you if you want me to address the four root causes for IBS then leave me a comment down below right now with yes Peggy root causes or yes causes and if I get more than 50 gut feelers saying yes I want that video I'm going to produce that ASAP for you so you can heal your IBS as fast as possible. Second most important thing what you need to know to heal heal your irritable bowel syndrome. What you feel, not just what you eat, but what you feel matters a lot, maybe even more than food. Maybe your doctor prescribed you with his best intentions antibiotics or you're on antihistamines or taking probiotics just like you would eat food. Well, the problem is there are no real solution. There is no way around healing IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, than addressing how you feel. Because what's the number one killer for your digestion? You guess, one, two, three, number one killer. It's stress. Stress directly affects your digestion. It's essential to take care of your emotional well-being and really feeling what's going on instead of going into the busy mode and just, oh, I'm just gonna watch more videos, I'm gonna do more stuff and not really feeling it. I'm gonna give you some hands-on thing that you can do right now. And that this thing I want you to do before you eat anything because you basically prep your digestion for optimal absorption. This is a form of a grounding technique. So it's best done without shoes, <laughs> if you can. If not, also with shoes will work. It will also work in the house house outside is better. So you stand on your on your feet. You can even sit down if you're feeling too weak. You close your eyes and you imagine do this with me right now. Not just watch me and amuse yourself. <laughs> do this with me right now. So close your eyes and feel into your body. Don't go away. Even if it's uncomfortable, feel your body and feel your feet touching the ground. First you take a breath in. And with your out breath, you go deeper and deeper through your feet into the ground. Wow, that's some thunderstorm going on here in Peru. You go deep into the ground and you imagine your feet are having roots. They grow roots and go deep into the ground. And with every out breath, you grow those roots and push them more into the earth. So in breath, 
out breath, release, 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 and deeply grounding and rooting yourself in the earth. One more time, and out breath, and rooting yourself in the earth. And while this is still going on in the background, I want you to tap a point. This is the stomach meridian, which helps digestion, which helps produce bile, and helps also release stress. So you take your, your four fingers and you tap quite with some force. It can be a little bit painful. Don't do it too soft because it's going to have the opposite effect. And you press where the bone starts, under your eyelids, where the bone really starts. So here, and you tap quite with some pressure. Remember to breathe. And that's enough. What this does is it helps to activate your parasympathicus, which is there for digestion and lowers your sympathicus, which is all about stress, fight and flight, so you can digest better. Do this before you eat anything. Stay to, before you eat anything matters the most. So before we come to what else you can do. No, don't bite into the microphone. No. <laughs> what else we can do if you like to learn more about this energy stuff which is super powerful help you release stress and improve your digestion i highly recommend you a free class from donna eden that's the number one lady i learned from as well which teaches you simple points that you can tap and points that you can massage to improve your irritable bowel syndrome symptoms i'll link you the free class down below it's a gift from me there is no cost involved and I love you to check it out. All right, last but not least, number one, what else you can do to improve your irritable bowel syndrome? All right, so here we are. The three things that really work for your IBS symptoms because they address the root cause. Number one is a high quality liquid zinc supplement. Uh-oh, the Andes Mountains coming closer. <laughs> so zinc supplement. Zinc is key and we're all deficient in it but for you especially if you're dealing with irritable bowel syndrome it's key because it boosts your immune defense and it helps to stabilize the cells that create inflammation it strengthens the cell walls so you have less inflammatory response and your symptoms go down it's so key to take zinc i recommend 15 drops of a highly concentrated zinc supplement that needs to be liquid without any toxic fillers i link you the one that i recommend down below second thing you can do to address the root cause and improve your irritable bowel syndrome symptoms is to help the nervous system really support the nervous system not just in your brain for the anxiety depression the nausea that you might experiencing but also for the nerve endings in your gut that are responsible for your intestinal motility this is so key if you're dealing with constipation diarrhea constipation diarrhea or just constipation it's key to bring in b12 that b12 again most of the supplements that you can buy most of the probiotics they're just take your money and they don't give you anything and might be potentially even toxic there needs to be two things in it adenosyl and methylcobalamin which are two forms of b12 that are the most expensive to produce that's why most of the supplements from B12, they don't contain them and it needs to be liquid because then it can be absorbed already in your mouth and can go straight to the bloodstream because if you have an impaired digestion, you might not be able to pass the B12 and convert it in your stomach. All right, last but not least before the thunder is going to hit me from those mountains and potentially these mountains. Aloe vera, this is the whole leaf. You can also buy this as just the gel. It's important to just use the slimy stuff inside that is like a snail, about two tablespoons of it. So I usually cut off like this amount and then I put it into water and blend it up so it's less slimy. You can also just eat it like that. Cools down the inflammation in your system. Yeah, less inflammation, less symptoms. And it also helps to heal any micro injuries any injuries that are caused by pathogens, by the inflammation itself, so you become more regular in the bathroom. If you can't get the fresh one, I'm gonna link you also a aloe vera gel that is 100% organic, highly efficient, um, down below that you can order to improve your irritable bowel syndrome symptoms and address the root cause.